this tank broke World of Tanks. But does it break it on the console version of World of Tanks? And today's video showcases whether or not this tank really does break the game. And of course it is the Defender. And this tank when released on World of Tanks PC was an absolute goliath. It was just completely destroying the matchmaker because of its armor model, the increased alpha damage as opposed to a lot of the other tier 8 heavies because it has 440 hit points worth of damage which means that for the most part you're not really uh, gonna <laughs> suffer any kind of real opposition in terms of alpha damage unless you're coming up against tank destroyers that have of course 750 alpha or, or more really uh, when you think about it and even then um, things like the SU-152 will probably bounce off of you unless they hit the weak points of this tank of which there are uh, kind of a lower amount. However, on the console version, when it was released, they basically nerfed a lot of the statistics, and quite rightly so, uh, but does that still make much of a difference to the tank itself? Well, you're about to find out. Obviously, penetration on the standard rounds is mediocre, you know, it's, it's good, but it isn't brilliant. And so, yes, you do have to load some premium rounds, especially if you're coming up against things like the Kaiser K from the front, or alternatively, some of the more heavily armoured tanks, like, a, for example, the German Super Heavies, like the VKs and stuff like that, uh, which you do have to be aware of, but doesn't necessarily mean you have to. But, yes, when you try and aim for a T-32, sometimes you catch a little tiger shark who's being a little rat and deciding that he's going to try and come around us. He does make a good play by kind of switching it up, but yeah, we're not a complete fool and we know how to turn both the turret and the tracks at the same time to be able to deal with him very easily and the defender definitely can deal with a lot of light tanks very easily because of the armour model making it difficult for a lot of the light tanks that come around the side of you to actually kind of hit you consistently at least. And therefore, you're going to be able to deal a lot of damage in a short period of time uh, to those tanks because effectively they can't pen you, but you're going to be able to be pretty effective against them. Uh, so there's no real problem there. And you can see what we're doing is just getting hold down. And this is where the defender becomes almost impossible to pen, is when you get hold down where you can use gun depression to some sort of degree, uh, makes it very difficult for opponents to do anything against you. And I mean literally anything. And especially when you know about the mechanics where you can shoot through walls. Um, yeah, it definitely feels like you're like the top daddy and you can come up against what, like six tanks directly in front of us but we're in a defender that just doesn't care we're able to just put round after round after round 440 alpha damage every single shot into all of these opponents that we're coming up against and most of them probably don't realize how effective this gun can be when you do get it kind of singing against a lot of the opponents that you will be facing and you can see here IS is no problem whatsoever as we high roll for 500 there and these are consistent things it's not like you only do them once in a while you can do like 500 damage roll really easily um, and therefore uh, you don't really have to think too much and you can see already within this game we've basically held off like almost an entire flank by ourselves does that innately mean that the tank is broken and overpowered well no not particularly it doesn't mean that it's like a super super overpowered but what it does do is uh, let you know that the tank can hold its own when you get into the right kind of position. That can be said for a lot of tanks, but I mean with this, you can pretty much hold your own in the majority of situations, especially if you are kind of bottom tier or uh, you're top tier even coming up against bottom tiers. Like a tier six is not going to be able to deal with the defender, where who, which can basically two shot uh, the majority of the tanks that you'll be facing. And you can see within this game, we've managed to pick up 4,000 damage already. Um, and albeit the game is pretty much over now and that is pretty much the case of most of the defender games that you come up against and yeah I guess that that's why the tank is so good on the game does it mean that it's innately broken is it as good as it is on the PC version well to be honest with you I think that this is a very very competitive tier 8 heavy tank and one that you should never disregard within the game as thinking it's just a nerfed version of the PC tank because even in its nerf state this thing is ridiculous and the fact we managed to pick up 3000 assistance damage on top of our actual damage bringing the grand total 
all the way up to 7,000 total damage uh, combined is a really, really good result for the Defender uh, and one that kind of showcases that still on the console version it can be really, really effective. And we'll jump into another gameplay where we showcase even further what this tank can do. Now then, a map which probably doesn't favour the Defender but we're going to use it anyway, we're going to go in a bit of a novel position for a heavy tank at least and we're going to go straight through the middle within this game but the actual game itself is not necessarily um, what we're kind of focusing on within this video and actually what this tank can do because what we want to showcase is the sort of things that you can get yourself doing and this replay really does showcase that. I've had better replays, you know, I've done more damage etc in the tank but regardless of all of that what we're after in particular is what the dust tank can do in a more aggressive playstyle where you are kind of in the front line and when you get into a position where we're kind of being very very aggressive with the defender and getting into a frontal kind of forward engagement um, you can basically um, come up against a lot of the opponents that are typically you would be a little bit hesitant to come up against um, in something like a medium tank but in the defender you don't really have to worry about that and we can just slap people for 440 alpha damage and they really hurt after the end of it and with the armor model you can bounce around as well and this replay is going to showcase the armor model of the tank and why it is so effective as well um with the armor model as kind of a, a sidetrack it does typically get the russian uh, pike nose that can be a little bit of a problem but it's not awful um when you're kind of wiggling the front of the tank and when you're kind of getting up close and personal it can be a little bit difficult for people to actually pinpoint um that kind of hull armor and even then it's very very well angled for a pike nose it's not like the is3 where it's very very flat uh, but still angled like a pike nose this one is a lot more of an extreme angle which probably makes it a lot more difficult for opponents to easily be able to deal with you but one thing that this tank does quite well is, of course, you'd think for a 440 alpha damage gun, one of the highest alpha damages in World of Tanks console, that it would be really, really inaccurate. And I guess to a degree it is a little bit inaccurate, but to, <laughs> compared to what I believe it would have been, then yeah, this tank is super accurate comparatively to what it probably should be. And when you get lucky and set people on fire, it makes it feel even better. And this is kind of what I feel like the defender can do so well where you're basically just being able to just lock down flanks and the defender does that so well if you get into the right sort of position now albeit this game is not going to turn out as I probably wanted it to um, but that's not really the case of this video what we're trying to do is just enable our team to kind of or help them out and stop opponents from rushing into people and just enable us uh, to really um, dish out a bit of damage against the opponents that are a bit of a threat for our team and then we can move from that position to really help out our team even further and if our team aren't there anymore well we'll see exactly how the tank can handle itself in like a one versus six scenario and yeah this replay definitely has one of those um but the defender in in itself you shouldn't really be sniping like i'm kind of doing here i kind of fully admit that this is a little bit of a sniping position um but we've moved down this flank i was hoping that our team would actually win the town and then we could progress even further uh, unfortunately we don't manage to do that but yeah that way i kind of get stuck here and then i kind of have to move back or alternatively just put rounds into anyone that's kind of pushing down this middle ridge you see that instead of going for the heavy tank we do actually go for the securing of the kill because i don't know that we are 100 percent going to lose it's probably going to happen uh, but it isn't like guaranteed and so we don't instantly go for the higher damage um, and so yeah in this game it's all about just trying to get out the rounds as and when we can and then we can kind of hope that we can continue that and just see about trying to get, increase the marks of excellence because I understand 10 versus 3 it's not usually the best result that you can hope for uh, and that is probably why this result ends up being uh, what it does but I think what the defender does so well comparatively to some of the other tanks is that alpha damage it's not like you get a terribly long reload where you feel like you're just completely useless for such a long period of time um, and that is where I think that this tank comes in a little bit clutch and why I think a lot of people underestimate well they don't necessarily underestimate the defender but I think that a lot of people kind of 
think that this tank is, uh, has been nerfed so much on console that it's not really effective anymore. Uh, but that is a complete miss. Um, like, not a thought that is correct. Like, it's completely against what this tank is all about. And you're about to see exactly what the armor model can do. As three tanks, albeit an autoloader, a tank destroyer, and another tank destroyer, come face to face with this tank. And this is where you can basically hold people down. If you wiggle the bottom of your turret, if you're wiggling, if you're face hugging, this tank can be really annoying. And if you stick your, your barrel of your tank into their, their barrels, you can actually bounce a lot of rounds. And unfortunately, we don't bounce in an inordinate amount, but we still bounce 2,400. And that's in a scenario where we've got people shooting in the side in the back you know if we were able to face hug both of those without having been shot in the back and the side we'd have probably bounced a lot more and could have potentially taken them both of our ult within that game because the emil one is of course an autoloader and once they're out of shells they don't typically have much of an impact on your hit points so yes this tank on console can do everything the pc version of the defender can do just a little bit worse but that doesn't mean that it's not good it's a very competitive tank and one that is probably very new player friendly and I would recommend trying to get your hands on this through Earn Operations if it does come out like they did last year in 2021. And if you can do that in 2022, if they release it again, then I would implore you to get this tank, try it out, learn the heavy tank playstyle where you can be very aggressive and learn how to kind of win those small term engagements where you're face hugging and doing all of that jazz and hopefully you can have some good results like we saw in this replay even though the second one was not necessarily the best replay but it showcased what you can do in those high clutch scenarios where you're one versus three at the end of the game so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like the video and of course subscribe if you aren't already to keep up to date with all of the new tanks that get released in world of tanks along with the update news and also gameplay and highlights and how to get better at world of tanks console if you did enjoy it make sure to like and of course join me back for the next one goodbye